this video, David Solomon, VP of Sales at SmartPixel, will guide us through the basic interface and features of SmartPixel's sales tool. David, your solution has become a global reference and is used widely by all size developers. What is it exactly that it offers? Valerie, real estate developers need a way to differentiate themselves from the competition while ensuring their potential customers have a memorable wow experience by getting a deep and immersive understanding of their projects. People need to see and feel before they buy, and that's what our solution offers. How come it has become so popular? There are several reasons why our services are so widely used. Aside from the visual accuracy and wow factor our software provides, the services we offer span the life cycle of our customers' projects. We offer a robust and stable software even during intensive and critical events such as launches. The turnkey service we provide includes shipment, installation, and support of large format displays, even bigger than this one, all around the world. And finally, the creativity behind our user experiences and ease of use of our interface and selling features. Okay. In today's video, let's focus on the user experience and functionalities of SmartPixel's basic solution. Good idea. Whether it is the sales representative using the tool to make a demo, or if it's his potential clients browsing units on their own, at the sales office or at home, on their computer or mobile devices, the interface must be nice, intuitive, easy to use, and grant easy access to all the features. Let's not forget, people should have fun using our software. It is all about the experience. All the features explained in this video are made for standard format displays. We have other features designed for specific types of surfaces, for example, tables, video walls, and mobile devices. David, can you explain to us what is the basic offer that SmartPixel provides? Typically, potential buyers want to see the architecture of the project, the location and the surroundings, the amenities and common areas, the floor plans, unit plans, and the views from their future unit. We offer the sales agents the right tools to make the most effective presentations and help clients in their decision-making process. Is the interface design always the same? Each project has its own flavor. Even if there are common elements, each project is unique. The branding and image must be in sync with our clients' projects, marketing, and sales campaigns. So it blends perfectly, thus following the customer up to the closing of the sale. So as you see here, the logos, the color, and some of the menu fonts are adapted to the branding guidelines of this project. Sure, every project has its own unique signature. Now, what are the most common interface elements? Can you demonstrate a typical user experience? First off, a button allows the user to select the language shown in the interface. As you can see at the top of the screen, a disclaimer advises the user that this is a simulation. Underneath, a compass will help the user to understand the direction they're facing. A key element of our interface is the sun slider. In the basic offer, users can change the time of day from sunrise to sunset. An optional feature allows them to see the environment and the project at nighttime. Wow, this really gives a great sense of immersion and realism. Indeed, but remember, the night view is not offered as part of the basic solution. It is an add-on. You can also see our dynamic cloud system. We can also add specific weather conditions if required. But overall, creating cinematic and dramatic sunrises and sunsets creates warmth, depth, and contrast for breathtaking views of the project. This gives a great sense of the surroundings. How their features to better understand what's around the project. Yes, and that's one of the key elements of our software. As for today, Valerie, can you please select the surroundings menu? Now, as you can see, the camera angle is now much further up, allowing you to have a wider range of view. At the bottom of the screen, users can select through six different categories, which will display different pins on the map. By selecting those pins, a pop-up card usually displays information about the selected points of interest. In this particular case, the client chose not to. How can I figure out how far those points of interest are from the project? That's a good question. The walking distance circles allow you to do this. By default, we offer three. But if needed, just like the categories, we can always add more. 
How do you choose those points of interest? Is it your customer who decides which ones to show? As part of the standard solution, we pull them automatically from Google. But if needed, indeed, our customers can list them for us. Using our content management system, our customers can modify the information display about each and every one of them. Back to the project itself, what can I know about the building? An important feature of our software is that it allows users to visualize outdoor and indoor amenities. A whole set of features is dedicated to this aspect, but as you can see here in the interface menu, users can select this feature and see which amenities or common areas are offered for the tenants to enjoy in their future home. How does the system know which units are sold? When clicking on the building, Valerie, go right ahead, a new interface will appear. You can now filter your search by selecting the specific criteria using the buttons and sliders. We usually offer about four. Each interface will be different. For example, some developers like to show pricing while others do not. And keep in mind, we can customize those filters as needed. Now, as you make your selection, you can see transparent boxes on the buildings. Those represent the units available according to the buyer's search criteria. We color code the different units to reflect what is available, reserved, and sold. And from here, I guess I can select a unit. Absolutely, Valerie. Go right ahead. Selecting a unit will lead you first to a floor cut view showing volumetric shapes to better understand the positioning of each available unit. When selecting units, pop-up cards will appear on the screen, allowing users to have a summary of the selected units. Multiple cards can be opened simultaneously, allowing the user to compare information. What if I want to compare units from different floors? That's not a problem. Using the floor selector, simply scroll down or up to have access to the other floors. Keep in mind that your selection filters will still apply. Now that I have selected the units that I would like to explore, what can I do from here? Each pop-up card you've selected grants access to different features. You can view the architectural plans of each unit. Go right ahead. Can I see inside the unit? Of course, but this is not included in our basic offering. However, as part of our standard solution, you could see the simulated panoramic views from each unit. Go ahead, Valerie. Impressive. Yeah, and the sun slider now allows users to experience sunrises or sunsets from their unit. It is also possible to change the viewing angle. Moreover, if our customer has taken drone shots, it is also possible to integrate them into the application. This is not part of the standard solution, but keep it in mind. I see here that I can add specific units to my favorite list. So let's say that I am interested in those two. What's next? By clicking here, go ahead, Valerie. Those units will be added to your favorites. Then the salesperson can review them once again with their customers and then share them via our integrated email system. This can be integrated into your CRM for future follow-up. If the salesperson knows a specific unit that should interest his buyer, can he have an easier way to access it? For sure, and this feature is also part of the basic offer. So if you click on the magnifying glass, you'll be able to shortcut towards a specific unit. There you go. I wanna add that many projects are composed of several phases. So usually a phase selector will allow the user to go from one phase to another. In this example, the upcoming phases are not yet for sale. So they are represented with transparent placeholders. Great. And you chose to color them using the project's color code. That's nice. Last standard feature we offer in our basic package is a scrollable media gallery. Valerie, can you click on it, please? Very often, if not all the time, developers will have renders that are important to show. As you can see, you have access to images and if provided, videos. This content can also be managed through our content management system. Thank you, David, for explaining your standard offer. It's very complete.